Oh, I don't know if you heard that or not because of shit this fucking stuff. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the Switch Michelle. And if you're popping into my YouTube channel, give me a like, share, whatever. Um, it's been a minute since I've been um, uh, on, live on Facebook because I was in trouble, so I got shut down. And in the meantime, um, I moved out of shadow work into light work, and this is double the amount of cards that I chose for um, the shadow work. It just the way it happened. It wasn't something that I said, oh, let me do this. It just kind of came up that way. So I thought maybe we would talk about it. I pulled uh, the first card yesterday purposely. I chose the magician card because that card comes up for me a lot, and um, I, I don't live comfortably in my own skin yet and I don't live comfortably in my own power so that I think that's the reason why this card comes up I have chosen it as my significator card whenever I do readings for myself now and um, so I decided that that would be the card that I would start with for this week um, then I went ahead and I pulled the the message of the day card and that was the ten of swords uh, so I let me just tell you something about this deck first of all. This is the Lightseer's Tarot. Just I mean, what a beautiful deck it is. Man, I can't wait to get I'm going to send this computer back, dudes. I'm going to look about how I do that today because this is really bad how bad my computer is. I my camera, I barely see myself properly. It's so strange. Anyway. So, here's the magician card. How fucking cool. And then the Ten of Swords, which is not your tr traditional Ten of, of Swords. Well, neither is um is the Magician. The Magician's usually looking like a high priest with all the tools at his hands and everything he needs. This dude has got all the tools, but you don't need to see them. <laughs> I kind of dig that. I think that's kind of cool. He's He's got everything he needs inside of him kind of nice and the ten of swords is usually it's the it's the it's that bad card with somebody getting their back stabbed um most of the sword cards have um crows in them and i'm real kind um kind of love crows anyway but um so they, they all have subtitles to um all of these cards and um for the magician, this one is, I can manifest the life I desire through energy and action. And then the Ten of Swords is, I am healing every day. Um, so, the, the magician card is telling me that I am magic. That magic resides at me that I have all of the tools that I need like I said before but I have the backing of the badass power of the universe and I thought it was really interesting that those were the those were the words that they chose was badass universe because as I went through my shadow journey I remembered the badass that I was when I was a little kid before people reprogrammed me into who I was supposed to be now um, so I thought that was really cool, um, that I can manifest anything I desire through the energy and action that I have. I just need to remember to step into my power and know that it's there and that I can actually wield that magic. I have seen it happen. I'm not going to even lie about that. Not a little bit. I, I, I always feel kind of funny because I know people look at you when you say that you've like watched your magic happen. But I have watched my magic happen, and I will debate anybody um, who wants to say that the supernatural, whatever it is, isn't real. Maybe it's not measurable like the amazing Randy was always trying to do, but there is something that works in the background. And when that stuff is flowing through you, when that power is flowing through you, you fucking know that the shit that you're sending out into the universe is going to work. You know it's going to work. You feel it in your fucking bones. And then there are most sometimes when you're doing your work that you don't think anything is going to come from it. I had several times over the last uh, fall and late summer where I was like, 
this shit is not taking it. I don't know why. And I think that when you have those moments of why the fuck ain't stuff working for me, that maybe it's time to take a step back and maybe see what it is that you might be needing. It might be something that's inside of you that needs to be worked on other than the stuff that's magical. I used to think that you shouldn't do anything magical until you've tried to settle it in the mundane. That's a holdover from Wicca, and I'm real grateful to Michelle, uh, the other witch Michelle, for telling me that, because I used to just be like, oh no, I don't want to pick up my tools, or I don't want to go out and do any magic for this, because I don't want to... Uh, do things in the wrong order. Well, that's not how witchcraft works. That's not even how Wicca works. You are the master priestess, priest, whatever, the, the ritual worker of your life. So you can choose how you want to do things any way you want to do them without somebody else telling you what you need to do. You have to consciously step into your power and shape your world. I need a muse. I know I have creativity that, that's in here that needs to come out. I don't know what that muse is. I think coming out of the shadow work, I kind of want it to be happening to me right now. Like, boom, boom, let's hear it. Let's see where I'm supposed to go with all this. Am I supposed to stay a real estate agent? Am I supposed to take this YouTube channel further? What am I supposed to do with, with this power that I'm stepping into? Well, I feel like that will be revealed and maybe that's why it's going to take such a long time. In fact, I know it's going to be revealed. Um, I need to find my spark and my why. I truly want to help people with my journey, with my mental health, with my magic, with my witchcraft. I'm not one of them kind of people that just wants to fuck with people and, make, and take their money. That's not, I want people to have some value um, from what they've learned from me and my experience going forward from this whole shadow into the light thing. So, and then I pulled the 10 of swords and it's this um it's a making me a little nervous i'm not gonna lie uh it's that painful endings crisis stabbing in the back and an opportunity to find deep healing an opportunity to find hope and resilience when you have abuse or trauma you those things leave wounds in you and i think what this card was telling me to reinforce the part of my magic is that's where my magic come from is from those wounds, deep healing, deep um, passion for why I do what I do and how why I jump into the magic that I jump into. It made me resilient. It made it gave me opportunities to learn from those kinds of mistakes that were made at me, to me, and around me. Um, it also is the end of an old path. I thought of it when I was reading about the card this morning and meditating on it a little bit that it was like a fork in the road, but I don't think so. I think literally the road stops at that space where I, I mean, not that my shadow work will ever end, but the trauma part, the understanding that that is where all of my um, reactions came from was the trauma. I think that road stopped and now this new road kind of veered off from that road you know how they how you have them sometimes you're going straight and then there's one that goes this way <laughs> but it's still coming off that same road that's what i think is happening here um so this card is reminding me that i'm healing every day and that i need to remain in love and that i need to process everything that i just went through in order for me to find that magic that purpose um, my muse, whatever it is, I need, I need to, I need to pay attention to the inside. I need to step into every situation, even really mundane things. I think for me, it's hard for me to keep a focus in my head about who and what I am. And especially that knowing that I have all of that power from the magician card at hand. And so I don't think about it all the time, especially in times when I really fucking need it. And so even in really mundane things, like I'm about to exercise, do some yoga and some belly dancing. Um, and I got a few things on my list that I want to do mundane cleaning and shit like that. I need to remember to step into my magical power for that because even the act of cleaning your space can be an act of magic. So it's important to 
embrace that. I remember that when I was a Christian back a hundred thousand years ago, um, and I first got into Christianity, um, I for sure, um, lived that 24 seven. And it, I knew when I got up in the morning and I knew when I went to bed at night that, um, that God was with me and working through me and everything that I did. And so it was something that I just, it, it happened every day and I knew it. I, I walked in my Christianity every day. I don't walk into in my witchcraft every day. I don't think about it like that every day. I don't think about the power that I wield every day. I don't think about my commitment to my gods every day like I did with um, Christianity. A lot of that has to do with the fact that it's not a book religion. So you don't have, like I, my mornings in when I was a Christian were no Bible, no bowl. Meaning if I didn't get up and pray and read the word of God, then I wasn't going to eat yet. I needed to actually, you know, make time for my gods. And I guess I'm a little better at it now that I'm meditating every single day. I, I think probably there's, I should probably meditate more than once a day. Probably should take some time in the afternoon to just reflect so far on what's happened before I eat my lunch. Maybe that might be a good time to think about those things. I don't know. But anyway, that's really important for me, especially to, if every, with everything I do, walk in that power of the magician of who I am and what I, you know, can wield and what I can manifest in my own life. So anyway, um, yeah, geez, I feel like I'm look like a big fat hooker right now. See, that's not very nice now, is it? <laughs> this fucking COVID thing has really made me eat like a crazy person. I don't even want to get on the fucking scale. I guess it's not too terrible. I'm still curvy right here. All right. I feel better about that, but them titties, man, they're too big. Anyway. Um, yeah. So uh, it's, I was hoping somebody would jump into this this morning, but I guess not. So anyway, yeah, I got shit to do. You will do you. Remember you are magic and move through your day in an intentional way with love and conviction to your own gods and to your own religion in whatever way works for you. I'll see you tomorrow.